Hi, and welcome back to Educator. Today we're going to be talking about some laboratory techniques. And the first thing we need to talk about uh, is ground glass glassware. So most of our reactions that we run in organic chemistry use a round bottom flask like this. This is very convenient for mixing uh, all your reagents and your solvent that's dissolved. And uh, so there's no crevices to get caught up in, but they don't stand up very well. So we can use a, a cork ring like this to support it when we want it on the table. And then uh, we're going to clamp it with a clamp when we want to do something with it. Now, these uh, the neck on this is is used uh, is made as ground glass glassware. These are very precisely manufactured, and two pieces of ground glass fit together to make an airtight fit. Um, but when they're dry, you can see that they kind of get stuck and they can get frozen together. Uh, and that's not good because these are very expensive pieces of glassware. So we want to handle our ground glass glassware very, very carefully. And so before we fit any two pieces of ground glass glassware together, what we need to do is we need to lightly grease the joint. So we're going to get some stop cup grease or something else like that that's in your lab. And all you need to do is apply a very small amount to the male joint only and all the way at the top where it's uh, the widest part. You can see how it tapers down a little bit. And so we're going to put it at the widest part here, just a little bit. And then you see when you fit these two together and we slide it around. Now you can see, hopefully that's coming up on the camera, you get, you can see it turns transparent uh, or translucent. You can kind of see through where it's greased and you're very, e it's very easy to slide these against one another. So when you're fitting ground glass pieces together, they should always, this already has a little grease on it. You can see how instead of being very white, it's uh, it's 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 grayer and more transparent, so they should fit together every time you fit pieces together. We should be able to do that, and if they don't slide very easily and have a nice solid um, uh, fit there, we should add a little more grease. Okay, and that means when you are disassembling, then these are going to be sticky with grease. So we want to make sure we clean them properly, and so we need some organic solvent, something nonpolar to get rid of the. Um, the grease, which is very nonpolar, so hexane is ideal. I have a little acetone just from home, some nail polish remover, and so just putting a little of that, some organic solvent, on our um, on a paper towel, and then we can wipe the joint. And then you see when it dries, it's going to go back to that clear. Acetone's not quite as good as hexane for that. It's going to go back to that clear thing, so clean the male joints, the female joints, to make sure they're not tacky and they should be that nice uh, gray color when you're done as well. So that's called greasing your ground glass joints, and that's how we uh, get proper airtight, um, airtight connections between joints. And you will be able to uh, vapors won't escape, liquid vapors won't escape, and also uh, you can even draw this under vacuum, and you can have a complete vacuum seal uh, just using these ground glass pieces.